What's up guys, Logs here, and we're back with another video, but this time, it's a little different. It's a q and I asked you guys yesterday in my montage reaction to the new Eon Team Taj, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. I asked you guys to ask me questions on, uh, on just anything, really. I mean, there's, there's no, there's no boundaries, it could be anything, and today we're just gonna read them off, because I haven't done a Q&A since my 1,000 subscriber Q&A. And that was back in like 2017, so it's been a while. Um, to get me through this, I have strawberry lemonade and a uh, Cliff Bar. And I bought a bunch of these because they were on sale for a dollar at the store. I bought all different flavors and I've tried like 10 of them so far. This one is oatmeal raisin walnut. Ew. Not sure about this one, but we'll have to see. So my favorite one so far that I've tried, I've tried like 10 or 11 by now. Favorite one, oddly, was peanut butter and banana with chocolate chips. Like, peanut butter, chocolate, banana, I think was the name. Really weird, because it was like banana in a in a bar, but man, it was good. It was chocolate, peanut butter, banana. Like, I don't know. It, it was really good. Second favorite was probably uh, <sighs> carrot cake was good, which is another weird one. But uh, I'll be reading the uh, comments from yesterday's video, or the last video. And also some stuff on Twitter, because I did tweet out that I'm gonna be doing a Q and A, so we'll just get started. I'm not gonna get all of them. Well, I might get all of them, but I might miss one or two. There's actually not that many, so none of you guys really care about me or my life. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna start it off. I'm gonna try this first. Get some ASMR going. Is that weird? <laughs> I think it's weird. Oatmeal raisin walnut. Nope, not a fan. Just in case you're ever gonna buy this. I give it a 4 out of 10. Alright, question number 1 is coming from Curse211. Hold on, buddy. I gotta I got do this first. Curse211 asks, this is my question. Alright, start off with a statement. Can you tell Sean to hurry up and finish Team Taj 2 for Ion? Because holy moly, it's been a while. So, uh, I, did have, I had no idea that Ion has only had one Team Taj. Because I reacted to the first Team Taj that they made. And it was really good. But I thought they did sniping showdown, so they had to have a second one. So I guess you could say second one. But I mean, I could tell them. I could tell them to hurry up and do it. Um, fun fact: I actually was going to join Ion for a little bit, but because I don't play Call of Duty and shit, I just said, Nah, fuck it. I'm not. <laughs> I don't really. I don't really care to join any teams or anything because, uh, really, I mean, I don't play, so there's no point. I mean, I watch videos. That's about it. I'll be honest. In my free time. If I'm like really bored, I will play Call of Duty, but because Raw and Rare 3 is pretty much done and we're just waiting to get it edited. If I'm going to play a video game, it's going to be, you know, on the Xbox One, it's going to be like Battlefield 5 or it's going to be, you know, Firestorm or something. Or it's a PC game, which it's just, you know, shooters like uh, Rising Storm Vietnam. That's my number one favorite shooter right now, Rising Storm to Vietnam. It's so good. If you want to know what it's about, I will play a little clip right here just so you uh, can get an idea. And uh, yeah. You want the fucking name, Paul? I got the fucking name, Fuck you! Yeah. Yeah. Everyone hang on! Reinforcements have arrived. What's it? What's it? No! <laughs> Oh no! No, I, it's not your fault. I oh, fucked it underneath the helicopter. I'm going down, boys. Okay, coming in. I'm dead. Oh, fuck! Oh, you oh, call me John Wayne! Oh, 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 Die, you commie oh, fucker! No. Oh, <laughs> Holy shit! How can you shoot women, children? Sorry. Easy! You just don't lead them so much! <laughs> The link to that full video is going to be down below. Love that video. Um, but yeah, that's what made me want to start playing the game. Question two is from Fish Festa. I am so sorry, but throughout this whole video, I'm not going to pronounce anything correctly. So just, I'm sorry about that. If you don't know, I don't pronounce anything correctly. And it's not even my fault. I have dementia or something. Dementia? What is it? Dyslexia. That's the one. <laughs> Jesus. Will you react to... Endearment is a COD 3 montage. I'm pretty sure I've seen this. Let me let me look it up real quick. Endearment, COD 3. I've seen all of Velocity's old ones. Velocity had the best, him and Rockstar had the best COD, uh, COD 3 montages. Endearment, COD 3. Wow, nope. 
I have not seen this and I definitely want to now because it's edited by DRX and that man is a fucking legend. Raffi says, how many numbers in the alphabet? 21? I don't know. Curve says, can I kiss you? Kind of hard through the uh, computer screen, but. Sith says, worst sexual experience with a winky face. Whoa. Worst sexual experience. That's a hard one. I don't know. So the first time I did it, that was pretty awkward, so that was pretty bad. But there was one time, <laughs> uh, I guess this is pretty bad, but let's just say we were doing it and then the person passed out. But she, I guess, fainted or something. I don't really know. I'm moving on. Don't arrest me. I'm sorry. Let's see. A lot of these are not questions. Oh, here's one. Uh, Exini says, question, how old are you? I am 24 years old, born 1994. July, July, ugh. July 4th, 1994. My birthday's on July 4th. Pretty cool. Tyson says, question, top three players. Whoa. I don't follow anyone, so I don't like watch people on a regular basis. But if I'm like top three of all time, Jesus. I mean, I have to put Shady up there. Shady, uh, he was like, I was a big Shady fanboy uh, because back, you know, 2011, 2012, uh, I would just love playing Ward at War, and I would always get into a game with him. And I just, I just liked watching his tosses. I mean, they're classics. But he is not the person who made me start recording. The number one player that I loved, who made me start like recording Call of Duty, I bought my first Elgato because of this dude. That was actually phase rockstar but he wasn't in phase he was in violent reality vr rockstar at the time literally loved his cod 3 tages best cod 3 tages to this date were his old ones you know call the montage one two three four loved them the fact that he was playing call of duty 3 when i think mw2 and black ops 2 were like out like black ops 2 was out and he was still playing cod 3 loved it i just i just that made me want to get a capture card and play was VR Rockstar, not not Phase Rockstar. I mean, that, bleh. and then third player, I don't know, Zerg Riz or something. I, I don't, I don't really know. Zerg Riz's montage were pretty sweet. Clike in says, uh, is it Clike or Clake? I don't know. How many e girls do you follow? Be honest. Whoa, put me on the spot. So if I'm being 100% honest. I don't follow any e-girls, zero. <laughs> and you can even look through my Twitter. I don't use Twitter that often. I barely ever get on. And if I'm gonna follow someone, it's not gonna be an e-girl because, I don't know. I think I, I look at some of these kids and uh, they're sending money to these uh, females who, uh, who just show their boobs on streams and stuff. I don't know, man. I don't really, uh, I don't really get the whole e-girl thing. Well, I know, I, I get it. But like internet dating and stuff, I, I mean, if you can't, if I can't, I could never do long distance. I would just be jerking off every night. So I don't really understand what the big deal is about e-girls and stuff. So how many e-girls do I follow? Zero. Uh, I think they're kind of toxic. If I, just from the shit that I've seen, they seem kind of, uh, I don't know. It's, it's weird. Especially the people who follow them. Like, why do you follow girls that... I, I don't know. Changing the subject. Moving on. Oh, Psycho Rudy says, would you ever date an e-girl? We're, we're, we're just going all in. If no, what if she's hot as fuck? <laughs> like, that would make a difference. <laughs> so, essentially, you're dating someone who is in your computer. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, if it was like, you know, fucking... If Ariana Grande wanted to date me... But, she, you know, she lives in L.A. or whatever, so, I, I mean, I guess in that aspect, but you're just, it's, you're, you're getting nothing out of it. <laughs> I guess you're getting a lot of, uh, I don't know, I guess people do it for, like, uh, not really respect, but they do it for, like, you know, like, oh, man, I'm dating this person online, or, I, I don't know, I, why, why do you do, <laughs> why do you date e-girls? What's, what do you get out of dating an e-girl besides like, I mean, it's not a good reputation. I mean, I don't, I don't know. If I was to date an e-girl, I would have to go and meet them eventually. Like that would be the, the goal is to meet them and stuff. But if they live in like far away where I couldn't, then yeah, there's no point. So if I was ever going to date an e-girl, no, probably not. It depends. I don't even know how many, I don't even know much about e-girls. So send me, tell me your favorite e-girl in the comment section. We will hit them up. Uh, 
Amelie um, says, if you started a team, what would you call it and why? So I've actually thought of this for so long and I have no idea. I mean, to be honest, I've, I've thought of starting a team so many times. I just could never think of a name. So I just, it stopped right there. If I can't think of a name, then I'm not gonna start a team. So I don't know, man. If you think of something, just let me know. It's Raz says, would you ever start posting multi cod old gen videos? What? Would you ever start posting multi cod origin videos? Isn't that what I already post? My mini Taz series is called Moshi Minutes. It's not mine, but I stole it from Mosh. <laughs> I guess yes. <laughs> so, Zexo says QA, what is your favorite clip? Uh, since you're a dirty hacker, what's the best mod clip and best non mod clip you've ever hit? Whoa, dirty hacker. That's a good question actually. So what is my what is my favorite non-modded and my favorite modded clip that I've ever hit? So I'll start with the easy one, which is my favorite non-modded clip. My, so my favorite legit clip I've ever hit has to be by a split seven on screen, back to back triples on Black Ops 2 with the DSR ACOG back when the game first came out. Literally the sickest clip ever made it on COD Shop of the Day. I will play it right now. What's up guys, Smiley here coming at you with COD Shot of the Day for your Sunday. Hope you're having a great day. If you are now, you probably will be after watching this because this is absolutely one of the best clips, if not the best clip I have seen on Black Ops 2 to date. And I've seen quite a few of them. And it's got the DSR, ECOG, and Meltdown. Not, not a combination to see a whole lot. Runs back to the spawn trap. No, no, no. Single, triple, triple. Wait for it. Single. Goes on to miss a few shots. Can't blame him for that. I definitely would have done the same myself um, if I was in that situation. But just absolutely ridiculous. How he gets the back-to-back the -back triples there, I have no idea. I mean, that is some mother of spawn traps, but still. So yeah, I hit that and I was fucking flipping out. And funny enough, that was for the Bang RC. That's why I had the uh, clan tag in there. But uh, yeah, that was my favorite non-modded clip. So my favorite modded clip, probably my game ending quad with 480p quality. I'll play it right now. Either that or my Deagle plus 40 all headshot. And I'll play that right now. So yeah, those two are probably my favorite modded clips that I hit, and then the uh, the back-to-back uh, -back triple split seven on screen. Still can't believe it's split, but that's probably my favorite non-modded. Silo says, what do you do besides making reaction videos like your job? Um, this is my job. Atlas Fellow says, uh, what do you think about current snipers like Testy, Dep V, Kitty, Rim, Rhyme, and Scope? Well, I only really know, I've only really watched Scope and then one Taj from Depthy. So, Scope's pretty cool, but the fact that they're all playing the newer games, I just don't like it, so I guess I don't really like the newer games. Uh, I have nothing against them, but what do I think about them? I mean, I'm sure they're awesome. I'm sure if they went to Multicod, they would be awesome then. But I just don't really watch Call of Duty that much, um, except for reactions, so. Curse201 says, so there's On, Ion, and now Eon. Excuse me. Love you, Sean, and also Logs. That was a fucking question, what? It's Pisk says, do you, did you ever play with Bang Jam? And can you react to introduction, phase iPod, and Jets? I think iPod and Jets were like brothers or something. I think they were related. Or they were just friends or something. Uh, but yes, I could react to introduction to face iPod and Jets. Um, for your first question, did you ever play with Bang Jam? No, Bang Jam is a new gen in the Bang community. So uh, I was one of the OGs. Um, and no, I'd never played with Bang Jam. And I'm very happy I didn't. <laughs> That's all the questions from my video. Now I'll be going over to, say, Twitter. That's where all the juicy questions come in. You already know, boys. 12 questions on Twitter, so let's just start it off. Oh, there's one that's blocked. Let's read the one that's blocked. Devin says, would you donkey punch your girlfriend while you're clapping her cheeks from the back? All right. 
Murph says, why did Mussolini choose fascism over socialism? Well, I mean, it was a better flavor of for mac and cheese. I mean, that's that's why. Uh, Black's PX, very good name, by the way. What's your biggest regret in the community? My biggest regret. Woo! I was gonna say joining Bang, but I don't regret that because it's a, it's still a meme today. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I regret getting caught hacking. So <laughs> that, that would have been awesome if I didn't. Uh, I don't know. Uh, meat. Ugh. The picture you got. Would you rather be a guy with four thumbs or a woman with no thumbs? Guy with four thumbs. I think. I mean, it would just be like fingers, but shorter. Yeah, I would hate to be a woman. They have to speed sitting down. Shit. Tony Mayan VE says, "What's your three favorite editors?" And go check out my edit. Okay, just just. <laughs> First of all, you're not in my top three favorite editors, so I'm not watching. I'm just kidding. Three favorite editors. That's a hard one. That's a really hard one. Um, so overall, beginning of COD to end of time, three favorite editors now versus three F favorite editors back then. I don't know. I, I have to put Phase Agony up there, and I don't even care what you think. Phase Agony is a motherfucking crazy bastard. He's edited so much shit. I'd probably throw Eskel up there because he's edited so much that it's just insane, and the variety too. And that leaves the last one, boys and girls. Which, really, I mean, I can name anyone, and it's still not my, like, it's, like, it's such a hard question, like, what's your three favorite movies, you know, it's, it's a hard one. So, I don't know, third place, there's really just so many. Obviously, I, I love Dawes, I love fucking Psycho, I love, uh... Alistair, I mean fucking Laws, I mean there's so many like great editors like it's hard to just narrow it down to top three But for the sake of it, let's just say Zer Grizz. Brett says gay What's your best player French? <laughs> what? What is no what's <laughs> Hold on What's is your best player French? You. <laughs> Eat Turk says, if you had a chance to lead sacred, would you do it? Um, depends, I guess. Am I the overall leader of sacred or I'm just a co-leader? Because if I was a co-leader, yeah, but if I was the overall leader, hell no, because I like Sacred and I want them to keep making videos. <laughs> You've seen my upload schedule. If I was the leader of Sacred, uh, the channel would somehow get deleted or like I would forget the password. It, it, it would go downhill quick. So yeah, definitely don't want to be the leader of Sacred. Would love to be like a, uh, you know, co-leader or something. I don't know, something where I don't have to do anything. I'm just like on the roster, you know? Yeah, that'd be cool. Jinger says, uh, <laughs> did I say that right? If you had the opportunity to be in any career path of your choice, what would it be and why? Probably, I think one of the easiest paths would probably be like a, an Instagram influencer. Have you seen those people? Basically, they promote like shitty products on their Instagram. I mean, like you just hold up like a bang energy drink and just take a picture of your like your ass cheek. Just put like green tea like in your butthole and take a picture and post it on the internet. I mean, that's that's pretty much what they do. So yeah, Instagram influencer. That, that's pretty easy. Warren says, what is your favorite part about being a cop? So if you guys don't know, I am a police officer. Um, my favorite part about being a cop is the fact that you have no idea what is going to happen that day. Like literally, you wake up, you go to work, and you have no idea where you're going to be by the end of the night. Um, hopefully not dead, but, <laughs> but what I mean by that is like, I've found myself some days like literally in the middle of the woods, like walking through to find like a missing person or maybe someone like sh robbed a bank and then ran to the woods, which that did happen. Uh, that was last year. But yeah, just like the randomness, you never know what's going to happen. But yeah, just like the uh, randomness, no day is ever the same. No night is ever the same. So it's pretty, pretty fun. Swarley says, what is your favorite montage from every year? That's harder than the editor question. So 2018, I mean, you already know, Swarley obviously knows. TTLG, Through the Looking Glass, was my favorite Taj of 2018. I mean, that was easy. 2017, fuck. 
I don't even know. <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't tell you. 2017, I don't, rem I don't remember. So 2018, TTLG. 2017, probably Individ 2. I think that came out 2017. And then Fear and Faith, I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. Probably 2014, XY Team Taj. I think it's, I think Spring. Spring came out in 2014, yeah. 2013, without a doubt, fucking AI Absolutum Interitum or Interitum 3. I think that came out 2013. Interitum 3 was fucking bomb. 2012, probably Darth, something Darth. Darth Team Taj. I don't know, man. I, 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 this is a hard question. Too hard for me. All right, this is gonna be the last question of the day. It's from Rewind Kotigawa? Whoa, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. But uh, last question of the day, which team is now the team to be in? That is the hardest question. Which team is the new team to be in? I don't know. That's a hard question, boys. So many teams have, have quit. So much shit has gone down. I don't know. Is Sacred still the team to be in? I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. I mean, they haven't dropped a video in a while. It's been two years and they haven't recruited me. <laughs> I really don't think that Sacred is the team to be in anymore. So, what is the new team to be in? I'm going to leave that up to you guys. You guys comment down below the new team to be in. I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. I love you all. And bye. Deuces.